This is the Transformers from the movie Rise of the Beasts. We have the Beast Alliance Beast Combiner 2-pack of RC and Silver Fang. Uh, in packaging, it, it looks great. It should be a good looking toy. I mean, it should be a, a good toy or a set, a good set. But uh, obviously, it's a very gimmicky type of toy. Not entirely sure if this is going to happen in the movie. But if it did, I'm all for it. I mean, look at that. Great armored up alt mode. I mean, both figures look terrific at least on the renders um, artwork right here man i hope this set won't disappoint i picked up this set from toys r us at vivo city in singapore let's get these guys out of packaging and here are rc and silver fang out of the box and th these figures are actually pretty good i think they actually did a better effort on this set compared to the bumblebee and star saber set uh, that set was pretty okay too but i think these these two edge that set by a bit. So let's begin with Silver Fang. You can see he's a white wolf. Kind of reminds me of Timber of Snake Eyes. So some articulation here on the neck, but that's it because of some gunk there because of transformation. The legs, they do have hinges right here, but I do like the fact that the legs are asymmetrical. You can see that the rear legs, one leg is is molded further backwards and on the front legs you can see this leg is molded further forward uh, which is a, which is a big difference from snarl saber snarl saber had both legs parallel so i do like this kind of brings me back to uh the old he-man toys with battle cat and panthor were asymmetric legs i, I do like that it, it, it's like they're already posed for you now he doesn't have much paint it's just molded in white plastic some silver here some eyes that have been painted those beady teal eyes. He's got some silver right here on his back, some silver on his tail. And you can remove uh, the tail and use it as a weapon for RC as a sword. So we'll do that later. Now on to RC. Now this figure is actually pretty interesting. The re the, probably the reason I picked up the set was not so much for Silver Fang, uh, but really for this RC figure because I do like the scale. Uh, it's bordering on warrior class, a uh, little bit of like a small deluxe class figure, and, and not a core class, because I thought the core class was too tiny for her, even though Hasbro was really trying to do uh, scaled up RC, perfectly scaled RC with that core class. But you can see right here, she's looking very, very hefty, much like a She-Hulk. She's, uh, she's really a massive, massive sculpt. Got some muscles. She really worked out <laughs> in this mode. You can see the motorbike part right here. You can see some silver highlights here and there. Let's have a look at that head sculpt. Man, I like this sculpt. Silver face, blue eyes, white helmet. I, I like it. Um, some hollow bits and pieces on the back, but compared to the core class RC, the rear wheels are actually not, not as, as bothersome. As, uh, as the core class was. Articulation of the figure, she's got a ball jointed neck, she's got a ball jointed upper torso, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed hips. She's got a thigh swivel, hinge knees, uh, mostly because of the transformation. So you get a little bit more articulation on this one more than a bumblebee. Head to toe, the figure stands at about 13 centimeters tall or about five and one eighth inches tall. For comparisons, here she is with the Studio Series core class RC as well as the Studio Series Deluxe Class RC from the uh, Bumblebee movie. And you can see she is taller than the Deluxe Class RC, but given her mass and proportions, she does feel more like a Warrior Class. Yeah, a little bit more like a Warrior Class than a, a Deluxe Class figure. So transformation, let's put Silver Fang off to the side. We'll do him later. RC, uh, transform her, you know, rotate the head sculpt, fold it back down like that. Arms, you know, fold them back like this. The torso is going to rotate to the left, to her left, and then the legs are going to rotate to her right, okay? Now this part uh, is the only one that has the wheels that can stretch out. You're going to fold it, bend it, bend the torso, and then you're going to tab it onto her hip. Next, what you want to do is you want to fold the torso all the way up like this the hands here and then the leg the other leg has some tabs right here they are going to tab onto the back of the palms now the instructions tell you that these things tab or just clip them together they don't they just 
they just rest like that okay and essentially that is the motorbike alt mode of combiners rc beast combiner rc and it doesn't look much but give it time it's actually grown on me i mean it, it looks really weird it's like missing things here and there but i don't know i'm kind of digging it it's uh I mean, you know one of those things that it just it just doesn't make sense that it starts beginning to make sense after a while so yeah it's pretty cool now my question really is for hasbro if you look at the box art on the back of the box are my eyes just deceiving me or is this real that the photoshop image looks nothing like the end product because the instructions clearly sh clearly state or depict that this is the actual alt mode it, it's correct as per the instructions but the box art that one looks actually pretty interesting although it feels unfinished but i don't know how that happened so that must have been an earlier prototype that they took snaps of but um i do like the silhouette of that bike more than this one this one just feels there's a lot of empty spaces here and there but nevertheless you know it's still pretty cool i i don't know how to explain it i mean it's so ugly that it looks I mean, not so ugly, but it's pretty ugly because of all these spaces and all that. But it, it it looks pretty cool. It does roll magnificently well. I mean, look at this. It's very smooth. And it even can it can even stand on its own. It doesn't need a kickstand. Look at that. That wheels are flat enough and wide enough. It'll allow you to stand RC like this. And here's the secret mode that not a lot of people have figured out. So you can unclip these hands and as you're about to transform her into robot mode you're gonna put you're gonna put the you know, untab this bit right here okay don't transform her completely just yet and then what I'd like to do is fold this up like this and fold the arms out like this and you see where I'm going here this is her secret mode. This is the Revenge of the Fallen RC robot mode. And she can stand. It does remind me so much of Revenge of the Fallen. It's pretty cool. Now, obviously, I've made it up. But I honestly think it could have been a good secret mode. For comparisons in alt mode, here she is with the Pseudo Series Core Class RC. Now, obviously, the Core Class has the superior design in terms of aesthetic and accuracy. But... In terms of scale, I'm really digging this this combiner's RC. Look at that. I don't know. It's really grown on me. Okay, now let's go to the combine mode. Okay, you want to take out the sword. I'm going to fold up the legs of Silver Fang, just like what we did with Snarl Saber. You want to just remove the the claw shield, the, the top of the head. You wanna just put Silver Fang on top of her head, like that. And then this bit right here is going to untab, unpeg, and fold down and boom! Look at that, revealing an all new RC armored up head sculpt. Fold this back right here. And then the, t the not the tail, the head, bottom half of the head turns into a gun. And instead of putting the shield here, you're going to put it on the other side, this. And then the sword, well, I think it's best she hold it here so it doesn't interfere with the cannon on her left shoulder. So there you go. I love the aesthetics of this one. It's like an all-white armor. Uh, it's got a fantastic blade and claw shield. And it just really, really works for me. I don't know why. It it looks pretty cool to me and there is enough stability in the legs so that you can position her in some some poses some stances and the figure doesn't topple over or tip over so i thought that was pretty cool so final thoughts on this beast combiners rc and silver fang set i actually enjoyed this set i actually enjoyed it more than the bumblebee and snarl, snarl saber set and i think it's a I think it's a better effort on the part of Hasbro. I love the RC figure. 
Uh, some a lot of times you're gonna look at it the first time you see it, it's not gonna make sense but after a while it will really grow on you i love the armored up mode this is a pretty pretty good more than decent effort on the part of hasbro so this set is gonna get an eight out of ten let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this transformers from the movie rise of the beasts beast alliance beast combiners rc and silver fang hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews and if it's your first time here please subscribe thanks for watching